ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਹੁਕਮਨਾਮਾ ਟੁਡੇ ਇਜ਼ ਓਨ ਅੰਗ 600 ਅਨ 32 ਆਫ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਬਾਈ ਗੁਰੂ ਤੇਗ ਬਹਾਦਰ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਸੋਰਠੇ ਮਹੱਲਾ ਨਾਵਾ ਮਨ ਰੇ ਪ੍ਰਭ ਕੀ ਸਰਨ ਵਿਚਾਰੋ ਜਿਹ ਸਿਮਰਤ ਗਨ ਕਾ ਸੀ ਉਧਰੀ ਤਾਕੋ ਜਾਸੋ ਉਰ ਧਾਰੋ ਮਨ ਰੇ ਪ੍ਰਭ ਕੀ ਸਰਨ ਵਿਚਾਰੋ ਜਿਹ ਸਿਮਰਤ ਗਨ ਕਾ ਸੀ ਉਧਰੀ ਤਾਕੋ ਜਾਸ ਉਰ ਧਾਰੋ ਰਹਾਉ ਅਟਲ ਭਇਉ ਤਰੂ ਜਾ ਕੈ ਸਿਮਰਨ ਆਰ ਨਿਰਭੈ ਪਦ ਪਾਇਆ ਦੁਖ ਹਰਤਾ ਇਹ ਬਿਦ ਕੋ ਸੁਆਮੀ ਤੈ ਕਾਹੇ ਬਿਸਰਾਇਆ ਜਬ ਹੀ ਸਾਰਨ ਗਹੀ ਕਿਰਪਾ ਨਿਤੇ ਗਜ ਗਰਾਹ ਤੇ ਛੂਟਾ ਮਹਮਾ ਨਾਮ ਕਹਾ ਲਾ ਬਰਨਾ ਰਾਮ ਕਹਤ ਬੰਤਨ ਤੇਹ ਟੂਟਾ ਅਜਾ ਮਲ ਪਾਪੀ ਜਗ ਜਾਨੇ ਨਿਮਖ ਮਾਹੇ ਨਿਸਤਾਰਾ ਨਾਨਕ ਕਹਤ ਚੇਤ ਚਿੰਤਾ ਮਨ ਤੈ ਭੀ ਉਤਰਹ ਪਾਰਾ ਅਜਾ ਮਲ ਪਾਪੀ ਜਗ ਜਾਨੇ ਨਿਮਖ ਮਾਹੇ ਨਿਸਤਾਰਾ ਨਾਨਕ ਕਹਤ ਚੇਤ ਚਿੰਤਾ ਮਨ ਤੈ ਭੀ ਉਤਰਹ ਪਾਰਾ ਸਤਿਗੁਰੂ ਤੇਗ ਬਹਾਦਰ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਟੁਡੇ is explaining to us and giving examples as Satguru Arjan Dev Ji Maharaj explains on Ang 1192 Guru Granth Sahib Ji Guru Maharaj Ji says Sun sa khiman jap pyar listen to the stories of the saints and the devotees and jap pyar inspire be inspired to jap pyar meditate yourself with loving devotion on Vaheguru Guru Sahib Ji Maharaj in today's hukuna is going to give us many stories and satguru pasha ji is saying to us take inspiration from these stories to meditate upon the naam that is the point of the story being told of guru sahib ji relating to us all these ways in which guru sahib ji in which wahiguru ji lord god saved devotees in the past and purified the sinners the idea is to instill within us faith and to instill within us that love in order that we too would also meditate upon the lord Guru Sahib ji begins the shabad man re oh my mind prabhu ki sarn bicharo contemplate think about understand and take this idea this bicharo into your mind prabhu ki sarn enter into the sarn the protection of prabhu wahiguru jeh simrit gan ka si udri and now guru sahib ji give, begins to give us examples after giving us the crux of the shabad prabhu ki sarn bicharo to contemplate the protection of god why Guru Sahib ji says jeh simrat gan ka si udri bai simrat bai minute taking upon wahe guru gan ka the prostitute udri was saved was liberated taako jas urtaro take that wahe guru ji's just name glory virtue remembrance or into your heart taro means to embed embed that within your or within the very heart of your soul guru sahib ji is giving us the example of gan ka hai Ganaka's story is related to us in more detail by Pai Gurdas Sahib ji Pai Gurdas ji explains to us that Ganaka papad hoye ke papa da gal har parota and for more information regarding Ganaka we can look at this var by Pai Gurdas ji and pai gurdas ji saying ganaka was such a sinner her job was that of a prostitute and she accumulated so much sin that it was as if she was wearing sin around her neck as a necklace that's how much sin she'd got together day in day out working as a prostitute she'd accumulated so much sin and pai sahib ji explains to us that one day 
due to some good action in a past life, due to some blessed action of her past life, a Mahapurk, a great blessed saintly soul, found no other place of rest and stood in the courtyard of Ganaka and asked for a place to spend some time to rest and for something to eat. And Ganaka served the saint she made him food, gave him a place to rest and the saint saw that she was engrossed in evil ways and decided to save her and how did he do this? with him he had a parakeet which is a green bird which can still be found in Punjab it's called a tota in Punjabi and he gave this parakeet to Ganaka and he said every day I can't look after this parakeet you look after him every day after having a bath yourself bathe him as well and sit down every morning early morning before the sun comes up and get him to repeat Ram Ram the name of God every day and he said will you do this she said yes so every day she would bathe and she would go up to the parakeet and say Bol Ram Ram say the name Ram say the name of God and every day she did this every day and after doing this for many days after doing this for much time the day came when the name of God enshrined itself within her heart. She was purified. She gave up her sins. She gave up her sinful ways. She gave up her evil ways. And she was cleansed from inside and out. Just by repeating the name of God. This is why the first command of Sri Guru Granth Sahib Ji is simply Jap meditate that one word Jap which comes in the Mool Mantra at the beginning of Jap Ji Sahib at the beginning of Sri Guru Granth Sahib Ji Maharaj that simple command of Guru Nanak is Jap just meditate through meditation you will realize through remembrance you will really realize your soul and Ganka was cleansed and purified through meditation and it is said by Pai Gurdas Ji that when she died she was taken up to the heavens. She wasn't cast down into hell. She was taken up to the heavens by the angelic beings. All of her sins had been washed away. All of that filth of her character had been washed away. Internally her sins were purified and externally she gave up committing any more misdeeds, misdemeanors. And Guru Tegh Bahadur Sahib Maharaj is saying to us, look at her. The one and remember the one who saved her Tako Jas Urtaro, take his just, take his remembrance and enshrine it, embed it within your or within your heart. Again going back to the first line, Manare Prabhki Sarana Bicharo. Enter into the protection of God. As he saved Ganaka, so he will save you. Rahav Guru says, pause and think about this line. Guru Sahib Ji saying became atal, became immortal through Simran and through meditation upon God. Ar nirpaya padapaya and he achieved the path, the state of nirpaya, of no fear, of fearlessness. Satguru Pasha Ji, Guru Tegh Bhadda Sahib Ji in their second example, again we can find this story in Pai Gurdas Ji Diyanwara and Pai Gurdas Ji tells us about Tru who was a five year old child and he was the son of a king. And Pai Gurdas Ji begins their, their war with through Hasada Kar Aya Kar Pyar Pyo Kuchar Lita. The Pag, the through, the age of five, after playing with, it, with his friends, came back to the palace and was laughing and ran into the laps of his father. And his stepmother pulled him out, snatched him out from the laps of his father. And said, if you wanted to sit in the laps of your father, you should have been my son. He went crying to his mother and he said, Mother, are you a maid? Are you a servant or are you a queen? And his mum said, I'm a queen, but I'm getting dishonored and disrespected. Why? Because I haven't meditated upon God. She could have instilled anger and fear and hatred into her through her, but she didn't. She said, look son, it's because I didn't meditate upon God. It's because I didn't do Naam Simran. And through asked her, how can I win over the kingdom? How can I make all my enemies into my friends? And she said, you must meditate upon God. 
And at that moment at the age of five he left the palaces, went into the jungles and he met the holy man Narad. And Narad the Muni, the holy man, instructed him to meditate upon the Naam, the name of God. And one day, many years after meditating, his father came and offered the whole kingdom, which was near where current day Agra and Matra are in India, to Thru. Not only was he offered the kingdom, but through meditation, Bhagat Thru transcended all worldly kingdoms and entered into the kingdom of God. He achieved Brahmagyan, complete knowledge of God. And we are told in Gurbani Ram Japaho Ji Aise Aise Meditate upon God like this through Prahalad Japeo Har Jaise Like Pagd through and Pagd Prahalad meditated upon God Guru Sahib is giving us now the example of that five year old and saying look at that five year old Through meditation he was made immortal and fearless Again going back to the line at the beginning Manare Prabhuki Sarna Bicharo Guru Ji is giving us these examples so that we enter into the protection of God Dukharta ehbid ko swami. In this way, my swami, my lord, ehbid means in this way, in this way, my swami, my lord, harta, destroyed the dukh, the pain of through, the pain of, and the sin of ganaka. Taya bisraya. And Guru Tegh Bahadi said to us, why have you, kahe, why have you, there bisraya, forgotten him, that great lord, who saved ganaka and made through immortal. Now comes the third example. Jabhi sarna gahi kirpanid. Gaj grahate shuta. The gaj, the elephant, was shuta, was saved from the graha, from the crocodile, when he entered into the saran, the protection of kirpanid, the ocean of mercy, Vahiguru, the ocean of grace, Vahiguru. Now the story of the elephant is thus. There were two brothers. One day, a saint called Chandrakamuni was meditating in a jungle. And one of the brothers rode into that part of the jungle that the saint had looked after all the flowers and all the plants on an elephant. And when one of the brothers came there on an elephant, Chandrakamuni was sitting there meditating. And one of the brothers rode around the whole of that garden, the whole of that jungle and broke all of the flowers, trashed everything and Chandrakamuni when he opened his eyes said, oh being, oh human oh man you evil being, you trashed all of these plants and for doing this and for destroying God's beauty you will become an elephant in your next life and the next day when Chandrakamuni went to do his shanan, went to have his early morning bath, the other brother hid in the water, under water, and when Chandrakamuni put his feet into the water, he got hold of the ankle of Chandrakamuni, and Chandrakamuni cried out, Oh, there's a crocodile, oh, there's a crocodile. And then he came out of the water laughing at Chandrakamuni. And Chandrakamuni said, For doing this, in your next life you will become a crocodile. And another story linked to this is that the two brothers, when their father died, the older brother took the lion's share of the inheritance and gave a pittance next to nothing to the younger brother. And the younger brother said to, to the older brother, you will become an elephant in your next life. You greedy soul. And the older brother looked back to the younger brother and said, if I will become an elephant, you will become a crocodile. And the younger brother laughed and said, I will hunt you down in my next life. If I'm going to be a crocodile, I will hunt you down. And one day that day came when the elephant went into the swamp where the crocodile lived. And when the elephant went into the swamp the crocodile wrapped its jaws around the elephant and dragged him down deeper into the water. And the elephant at this point the only thing above the water was its trunk. And in its trunk it grabbed of hold of a flower which was floating on the surface of the water and held it up to the skies, to the heavens and said in its heart, O oh God, only you can save me now. And it said at that point that God sent down a divine weapon called the Sudarshan Chakar, which is like the steel quotes that we see, 
the things wear on their the stars on their turbans. It's like that, it's a divine weapon. And it said that God freed the elephant from the clutches of the crocodile with his Sudarshan Chakkar. And Guruji saying to us, Guruji saying, O oh human being, that elephant was Shuta was saved from the Garaha from the crocodile by remembering God. In the same way you can be saved. Guruji saying to us, and if we relate it to us, the elephant is our mind. We are the elephant. And the quagmire, the swamp, is of this world. And within this world, there is the crocodile of ignorance. And that ignorance of spiritual wisdom, that ignorance of love, that ignorance of forgiveness, that ignorance of God, it wraps itself around us and it drags us down. But Guruji is saying to us, all we have to do is take the flower of faith into our trunk, hold it up and pray to Vaheguru, ask for the protection. Again, going back to the beginning, the first line of the Shabbat, Mandare Prabhki Saran Bicharo. All we have to do is cry out for that protection. And God will bless us with the Sudarshan Chakar, the divine weapon of His Naam, and will cut away all of the entanglements to this world that are pulling us down into this swamp. So Guru Sahib Ji says, Mahma Naam Kahalo Barno. How can I Barno? How can I describe the Mahma, the greatness of Naam, the name of God? It goes beyond all description. Ram Kahat Bandhan Tehat Uta. By Kahat, by meditating upon Ram, the name of God. All of your bandhan, all of your prisons and cages and all of your chains and all of your entanglements will be tuta, will be broken. And Guruji goes to give us the last example in this line. Guru Sahib Ji says, Ajam al papi jag janne nimak mahinistara. Guru Sahib Ji says that the jag, the whole world janne knows that Ajam al was a papi, was a sinner. Nimak Mahi Nistara and even he was Nistara saved within Nimak within an instant and the story of Ajamal goes thus that Ajamal was the son of a Hindu priest a Brahman a high caste Hindu and he used to study from another Brahman another Hindu priest and the short way of getting from his house to his teacher's place was through a bazaar through a market where the Vesava, where the prostitutes lived. And the long way was going around and avoiding that market. And his teacher and his father both used to say to him, never go through that market. Always take the long way. And whilst he was learning, he always took the long way. He never went through that market. One day when he came to age, 18, 19 years old, he was summoned by the king to perform Katha, perform religious discourse in the court and both his teacher and his father warned him do not sit in the court of the king after you have performed your discourse after you have performed your sermon do your teachings and then leave because in the court of kings many things go on and when he was about to pack up his religious scriptures and leave he decided to wait a while. He forgot what his father and what his teacher had said. And into the court of the king came a dancing girl, a prostitute, and she danced. And he watched this dance. And his mind was engrossed with lust. And following her afterwards, he walked through the marketplace where all the prostitutes lived. And hearing this, the king said, Oh, my priest has been defiled. He, cannot, he can no longer be the priest of the royal family and he was kicked out of the kingdom. And that slave girl, that dancing girl who he'd seen, dan who he'd seen dancing, the prostitute, who he went looking for, she also left. And they were both banished and they, have to live, they had to live in the wilderness. And the, when they were living in the wilderness, all they could eat was wild animals. They used to capture wild animals and eat them. And one day, a holy man knocked on their door and said, I need shelter for the night. 
and I need food. So all they had was chickpeas. They made chickpeas for the holy man, gave him a place to say, served him. And the holy man asked the story of Ajamal, and Ajamal told him the whole story. And he said, Right, when your seventh son is born, name him Narayan, the name of the Lord, one of the names of God. And Ajamal said, Okay, I will do this. And when Ajamal was about to die, he started calling out Narayan, 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 Narayan. Because he was calling out for his son. But whilst he was calling out for his son, suddenly his focus on his deathbed went from his son and into God and he started calling out to God. And in that last minute, in that last instant, he called out for God and God saved him. And he did not have to suffer through reincarnation. He was not taken down into the hells. Instead he was bared up to the heavens by the angelic beings. Sadhguru Pash said he gives us his example as well and said, Ajamal Papi Jagjane, even the whole world knew him to be a sinner. Nimak Mainistara, even he was saved in an instant by attaching his focusness by attaching his consciousness and consciousness and his focus to God. And Guru Teg Bahadur Sahib says, Nanak Kahat, Jet Chintaman, remember that Wahiguru who gives you everything that you desire for tapi uttarha para and even you will be uttarha para you even you will be saved and you should be carried across this ocean of the world and the main basis of this shabad is the first line man re oh my mind prab ki sarn bicharu no matter what our pain is no matter what our torments are spiritual physical or mental the only place the only way of gaining true eternal peace is through the name of God. And that is what Guru Tegh Bhadda Sahib is telling us today through the story of Ganaka the prostitute, through the story of Ganaka who was saved and who was liberated and who gave up her evil ways, through the story of Ganaka, through the story of Pagat, through, through the story of the elephant and the crocodile and through the story of Ajamal. So, May Guru Sahib do grace upon us, Guru Tegh Bada Sahib Ji, that we take those stories and we understand them for what they are. And we understand and we take inspiration that if God can save Ajamal, can save Ganaka, can save the Gaj, the elephant, and if Waheguru Ji was the one who made through immortal, then we also must grab hold of God's name and take it within our hearts for it will save us Ajamal papi jag jane nimak mahe nisthara nanak kahat chet chinta mane te pi utrah para Vaheguru ji ka khalsa Vaheguru ji ki fateh